Yo, what's up, Wealth Champion? Today, I want to share with you three things that all wealthy people have in common, man. Listen, I've always been taught if you want to do something or have something that someone else has, then you have to adopt the mentality and the habits that they have. And since I want to be wealthy, and you're watching this video, you probably want to be wealthy too, then you want to understand the mindset and the habits that wealthy people have. So I wanna share with you three things that all wealthy people have in common. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm actually gonna show you how you can implement these three things as well. So let's get into it. All right, guys, let's dive right into it. Listen, if you are going to be wealthy, then it only makes sense that you study wealthy people. And there are three things that all wealthy people have in common amongst many others, but these are the three primary ones that I like to study. Number one, all wealthy people own business systems. Why is it important that you own business systems? Because wealthy people understand that the most valuable asset that we all possess is time. So when you own business systems, then systems will allow your businesses to run, or in other words, allow you to make money without your physical presence. See, a wealthy person will spend more of their time building and developing a system than they will going out to make money. See, a wealthy person can go and make a thousand dollars per hour, right? Uh, that's not uncommon. But what they would rather do is build, take one hour and build a system that will make them $100 per hour. Now you might say, well, Cortez, wait a minute, if they can make $1,000 per hour, uh, why would they build, uh, spend an hour to build a system that only makes $100 an hour? Because once they build the first system and it works and it makes $100 an hour consistently, then they would spend just 10 more hours or nine more hours building nine more systems that create $100 an hour. Now they have $1,000 an hour from these systems and it doesn't take any more of their time. So you'll notice in the Wealth Creation Playbook, if you go to our module on businesses, all of those opportunities that we are presenting there are about developing, building, and running business systems because systems will allow you to have both time freedom and financial freedom. The second thing that all wealthy people have in common is they have multiple streams of income. Now, let's not get this twisted, guys. They don't go out and run around like a chicken with their head cut off and have their hands in all of these various things and they're not effective at any of them. When I say multiple streams of income, it starts with the types of income that they have. Number one, leveraged income, right? That is income that they will get from business systems where they learn how to leverage systems. That is income that they will learn, uh, that they will get from leveraging other people's talent, other people's time, other people's energy, right? It's not 100% of their efforts, it's a small percentage of multiple people's effort, right? That's called leveraged income. A lot of people confuse that with passive income, but passive income is actually a myth. There's no such thing as you creating income while you're going to lay on a beach somewhere. No, you gotta put in some work. Uh, so they leverage systems, tools, information, and other people's effort to create income. Again, when you go through our business income, uh, 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 module you will see that we have those components again because I'm modeling what wealthy people do all right uh, another type of income that they have is residual income they love to figure out how to create something that they can get paid for over and over and over again one of my favorite all-time examples of this is my man Sylvester Stallone right Guys, do y'all know that they are on the eighth, probably ninth installment of the Rocky movie series? And here's what's significant about that. When Sylvester Stallone drew up that script, he went and pitched it out in Hollywood and they said, you know what? This might be an okay movie. We'll just give you $75,000 for the script and we'll go and produce it. He said, nah. In order for you to get this script, I have to be Rocky. I have to be the leading man. And they're like, nah, man, dude, you are uh, 
a soft porn star uh, and, and not a great actor and your accent and all these things that they said he couldn't or reasons he could not become what he wanted to become which was the leading man of this series. Now something tells me that deep down inside Rocky already knew that or I said Rocky, Sylvester Stallone already knew that he had Rocky 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 already in him, right? So he stuck to his guns, he didn't accept the money for them to buy out the script for $75,000 and he continued to press forth studio after studio after studio. Ultimately, someone took a shot on him, he created uh, uh, the first Rocky installment and we, we know the rest is history. And for those young folks out there who don't know that Creed is actually part of the Rocky um, uh, franchise, then yeah, so he did, I think Rocky, all the way up to Rocky 6, and then Creed 1 and Creed 2. So that's eight installments of the film, right? That's residual income. You get the same thing with Rambo. Rambo is now on Rambo Last Blood. I think this is the fourth installment of the Rambo movie franchise. So wealthy people love to figure out how they can get paid for doing something one time and get paid over and over and over and over again. Uh, and then last but not least, all wealthy people have what's called portfolio income. And that is money that comes in off of their investments, right? Now, some people like to call that passive income, but trust me, those people worked for that money on the front end to put it into the portfolio in the first place so that it grows uh, faster than a rate of inflation. So number two, all wealthy people have multiple streams of income. They have passive or leveraged income, they have residual income, and they have portfolio income. And then the third thing that all wealthy people have in common is they all have mentors. Guys, I like to say it like this, if your mentor doesn't have mentors, then you need new mentors. Guys, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, all of these people are the top three, four, five wealthiest people on the planet. And guess what? They all have mentors. What does that mean for you? If you are aspiring to be anywhere in that conversation of wealthiest people in your community, in your city, your town, your state, or whatever, don't you think it's a good idea that you have some mentors, right? All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick training. Go ahead and comment in the uh, comments. What was your biggest takeaway of those three things? And hey, if you want to implement these habits, then I want you to click on the link in the description and I want to share with you a system that I've been using for the last three years that has helped me do just that. Build a business system that is in a high demand niche in the digital marketing space. It helps me create passive and residual income. And if you click on the link in the description and you like what you see and you partner with me in this, then of course you get me as your coach and mentor as well as hundreds of other trainers in this space and in this arena to help you build, grow, and create a solid business system that's going to create that passive and residual income. It's going to help you create that freedom lifestyle. So click on the link in the description below and see how you can get into the digital marketing game and build some passive and residual income, set up a business system that will create money for you on autopilot and get a great coach and mentor and yours truly if you decide that you like what you see. So Click on the link and I hope to see you on the inside. Until then, get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it, each and every single one of you. Now hustle up.